Today's video is brought to you by Hex Gaming. Let me ask you a question. Do you need that competitive edge in that first person shooter, third person shooter? Are you just getting straight clapped by the competition? Or how about that raid in that console MMO? Do you need something to give you some ease for your next cooldown? Make your rotation a little bit simpler? Need some customizable buttons? Or do you just want a flashy controller? Visit Hex Gaming today and use promo code TONEC127 to get 5% off anything you order in the Hex Gaming store. That's hexgaming.com. Use promo code TONEC127 at checkout to get yourself a discount. Enjoy the video, guys. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Tanek127 and welcome back to Tanek FPS. And yes guys, we are here, we are at that stage, finally, the wait is over. We have an official release date for Crossfire X. If you don't know what that is by now, it's February 10th. Um, I did a little reaction video to my trailer that they dropped at the Game Awards. And um, I'm excited about the news, you know, nonetheless. Um, I actually have a small non-profit esports team that I want to um, launch and stuff like that for this game. Um, I do have, you know, some big plans for it here on the um, on the channel. So, you know, for those who, who watch me and think I'm not heavily invested in Crossfire X, you're, <laughs> you're, um, you're absolutely wrong. It's just I'm not a fan of talking about things when there's nothing to talk about. So, you know, just because I didn't upload Crossfire X videos every day for two years straight does not mean I'm not into the game. So please, for those thinking that, please don't think that. But um, there's something else I really want to talk about Crossfire X with, and that's the future of this game, because I'm honestly very concerned. And um, this this conversation in particular, the main thing that got me thinking about it was the, um, the Crossfire X official Discord, because a lot of people have um, split opinions on this. This was a big debate in the Discord and um, kind of started a riot the, the day the, um, the announcement trailer was revealed showing the release date and stuff like that. And that's the communication with the, with the developers. Now, let me explain something, you know, where to divide with the community comes in. There are people, you know, who are just happy and grateful that we finally got a release date. And let me make it clear right now. I understand both sides of the spectrum. And there are also people that are upset that, you know, the game was technically delayed again after they promised a 2021 release. And people being upset about that, rightfully so. Um, <laughs> funny thing, because um, uh, one of the guys in our Discord is actually, you know, has um, some, some um, developer and developer affiliate experience. And, you know, the funny thing is he's, you know, he actually works in the game and... Game industry. I'm not going to mention his mention his name, but even he sides, you know, with the players on this set, you know, feel kind of deceived because the game was technically delayed again. And while you know a lot of people do have the mindset of you know, let's just be grateful we finally have a release date that's not crazily far out. I do, like I said, I do see the point from um from both sides of this. Now, when it comes to this um, this delay that they sneakily gave us again, and I'm going to say that straight up because the facts are there. You know, whether you're just happy we got we finally got a release date or whether you're mad that the game's technically delayed again, you cannot deny that this game was, again, delayed in a very sneaky way where we were not given any type of heads up or anything about this whatsoever. Now, this concerns me mainly for one big reason and this was the final reveal for crossfire x before a release date and everything and i'm just going to flat out say this but this dev team's communication with their community absolutely sucks and that scares me for the future of this game now don't get me wrong um when the beta launched you know they heavily requested a lot of our feedback and things like that for the um for the game. Hopefully, a lot of that is implemented, especially with all the delays we have um we have suffered with this. But just their lack of communication with the community is a 
turnoff that really makes me worried, especially with this game being a free-to-play live service game that's launching on the Xbox platform. Now, I'm going to explain to you know to you guys why that worries me and why it concerns me. I'm going to name three games to you guys, and then I'm going to ask you a simple question, and you let me know if you can answer it before I give you the answer. I'm going to name three games, like I said. One game is Hyper Universe. Another game is Bleeding Edge. And another game is Gigantic. What do these three games have in common? I'll give you a second. Well, if you weren't able to come up with an answer for this, these are all, all three of these games were free to play live service games that were shut down on the Xbox platform because they weren't doing well. Because they weren't, you know, making the right steps with a lot of these games. A lot of, some of these games had issues like, you know, not quite listening to the community. Granted, you know, they, games got shut down. So there was a lot of business aspects involved with it too. You know, I'm sure a lot of it was um, financial stuff. Besides, you know, um, Bleeding Edge. I think that's, I think Bleeding, Bleeding Edge is honestly, you know, it just, it wasn't moving the way um, Ninja Theory had hoped and they wanted to focus more on Senua's sacrifice. But my, my point is this. Xbox has no problem dropping live service games that aren't doing well. And love this little game called Fortnite or hate it. This game has proven over the past three or four years now that community communication and a bond with your community is key for your free-to-play game to thrive. It's not just about cross-play. It's not just about battle passes. It's not just about platform accessibility. It's communicating and being involved with your community. And this one thing, Crossfire X has shown that it lacks over and over and over again. The only slight bit of communication we have had when it comes to Crossfire X is a um is a member of the Discord who's you know I, I don't I don't know if he's a community manager, just a Discord mod or or what who who communicates with us every now and then just just speaks you know and gives subtle updates but overall he's not really allowed to say much, which you know is his job and I'm not saying that you know he should break NDA or or, or anything like that to you know to to make us happy. But the disconnect between the players and the developers with this game scares me. And the fact that, you know, Xbox has a history of, you know, just dropping these kind of games when they don't do well. That scares me too. Now, I have no doubt in my mind that Crossfire X is going to be a solid title. But let's be realistic. Let's say, you know... This communication path that Crossfire X has really shown is the way that they do things. Let's say, you know, it's like this for another year or two and people just aren't happy. With, you know, the way they communicate and, they're, and they don't listen to the community much. Where do you think Crossfire X will be then? I'm just saying, guys. I'm not saying, you know, Crossfire X will be shut down soon in the future or, or anything like that. It's just the way that things are with the game currently right now. They make me extremely nervous for the future of it. And I'm just praying to God that I'm wrong. And this whole thing does a complete 180 the way they communicate after this game launches. But anyway guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. But anyway, y'all enjoyed today's video. If you agree with me, leave a like. If you disagree, you're more than welcome to leave a dislike. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know how you're feeling in the comments. Subscribe here if you're new and you want more Crossfire X content. I will see you all in the next one. Peace out. Have a good one.